please subscribe. I'm hungry. to go. I'm going to leave mommy behind. <laughs> mommy, are you going to miss me? I'm kind. <laughs> oh yes, guys. I'm going to go and pick up Noye and we'll head to the airport. I'll see you guys when I'm in the car. So, we are now going to go and pick up Noye and Odera, obviously. You guys, I tried to do it too much. That's not my answer. <laughs> In an hour's time, I'll be checking in. Oh no, in an hour's time, I'll be boarding actually. Guys, guys, see the load. My mom gave us to take back to Lagos. I know, no, I don't want to drink my own Flight has been delayed. The flight was meant to leave at 11 11.45. That's the time. I'm tired. Like, I want to sleep. I want to eat. I've been awake since 5.30. <laughs> yeah. All in the name of traveling. I wake up at 5.30. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's the time. I didn't know other I went to. So I just sit here. I think it's time for me to edit a video because I need to start posting my videos. Look at my full hair. <laughs> this is not cute. <laughs> I love Nayan Odera. I'd like to go. I'm going to miss them. You guys, people are leaving literally as I'm going here. What? I'm going to go. I'm going to go. I'm going to go. So guys, we still body at one ten minutes past time. What is complete to your account? Oh yeah, there's no business class this time around. And there was nothing around. And there was like, mm, it's not business this time around, please don't sit down. I can't wait to get home to go and sit Right, people don't understand. Let me show you my view. Look at that. Calling me in school. Nothing, I'm just going to tell you bye bye. <laughs> yeah, very soon. I don't think they're not down many people on this flight. Your life jacket is located under or beside your seat in the event of landing on water. Remove it from its container and slip it over your head and attach buckles to the clip by the front.
we landed at like 235. So I'm waiting for Bright to come and get me. That's it. Let me go outside and kiss him and be outside. Because he told me he's on his way. Can things get any worse? Like, I really don't understand. They're telling me that they're getting to the car and things like that. Oh, good. Okay, so now I'm going to find office. I'm going to find office. I will explain the whole situation to you guys when I get home. I'm just tired. I just want to. I'm just tired. Hey guys, see how much they're asking me. I've had a really long day. So we get so excited to be back in Lagos and I'm like, I'm looking out to go back to the village. But yeah, I'm going home now. I just spent money that I didn't even have. And I'm praying and hoping to God that my dad gives me back the money. But it sounds like he's not going to give me back to me. I think it's actually um, okay to be crying for money. Because me, I don't even know. I can't even show you my account. I only have like 3 or 10 minutes. Side, I want to do um, is it fruit or drink? One of those videos, I was able to get some drinks from the village, and I'm like, Yes, I have drinks I'll use for my video, so yeah, stay tuned for that. I'm probably going to put a ask me anything question on Instagram and on. YouTube as well, so that you guys can ask me questions and I'll answer. for me to come on here and explain what happened in the afternoon when I landed so um, when I go to the airport apparently they have this rule whereby you don't pick passengers up from the arrival section passengers have to go to the parking lot and get into their car and be going to where they're going to I didn't know that and the driver claims that he didn't know that, but my dad said the driver knows that. So I didn't know that and I entered the car. Only for me to enter the car, they came to block the car, they started shouting that I didn't we know here. 
if I heard that, will I still enter the car? Because this kind of thing pisses me off so much. Like, am I that stupid that I'd rather pay 15,000, 10,000, 5,000 over just paying 200 that is parking money? Like, do you guys understand my irritation? So they're like, oh, that me, I heard what they said, but I was still trying to, um, like, put around the bush and not do what they told me to do. And I was like, you put didn't write it anyway. I didn't see any sign. I only saw the no parking sign, and that no parking sign has been there since day one. Like, in Nigeria, when they say no parking, they mean don't park your car and leave it there. You can just stop the car, someone enter and they will go in. There's no problem. I just felt like in their head they're like, oh yes, they've seen someone that they want to take money from and all of that. So when they now stopped the car, the driver did not lock the door. So the door was open. Then someone now got into the car and was like, oh, that we have to follow them to where we, where they want us to go to or some long story like that. Oh yeah, now. The driver was still arguing. I told him to stop arguing. She just listened to them and followed them. Like, obviously, I know all these people want is money. So let's just give them money and move on with life. The driver was still there beating around the bush and talking rubbish. Eventually, he agreed to move. So as he, as the old man was inside the car with us, the old man was pointing to where the driver should park the car so that we can all talk about the situation or what happened. Sorry. So that we can all talk about the situation and what happened. Everything went left. The driver started speeding off. Like he didn't want to stop and wait for or pack for the man to come down and let all of us talk about what is happening. The driver was speeding off. Before we knew it, the man pushed, pulled the brake paddle. The car was just moving like a snake. And I was just there in confusion, like, what is happening? Like, I wasn't ready to die. Even though now, in my head, I'm like, lucky with what this year has done to me. But let's not even start having that kind of thought in my head. So, I was now screaming in the car, like, they should stop, they should stop. Then just park the car, like, I really don't have time or energy for this. I'm just coming from a flight, and I, all I just want to do is sleep, because I've been, I've been awake since 5.30. The guy packed before we knew it. Towing van came from nowhere. So many guys came from nowhere. I said, like, moving around the car, saying one thing, two things. Then one man now came. Then when they parked the car, the man that was fighting with the driver took out the car key and went out and gave the car key to another man. The other man was like, told the car, told the car. One of that guy came from, one of that man, and I feel like he's the ogre. He came out, he was like, give me the khaki, he took the khaki. He told the driver to come on, he wants to talk to the driver. Meanwhile, I've been shouting at all of them, telling them that they should talk to me, they shouldn't talk to the driver, because the driver doesn't know how to talk. The driver is just irritating, like, I don't even understand where that guy comes from. So I was not like, telling them, talk to me, don't talk to him, talk to me, let us talk. They're like, no, they need to talk to the driver. Obviously, the driver is not going to give them money, because he doesn't have the money. So all of them were just shouting up and down. This one was going, this one was going there. I was like, talk to me. Don't talk to this guy. Talk to me. What do people want? What should we do? They were still not listening to me. And the man asked saying how they're going to tow this car now. But if the driver agrees to park, they will not tow the car. They will take him to the orphan office so that he can talk to them and pay a fine. Then the man now advised me to park all my properties in the car and get another car that will take me to my house while I leave the driver and the car there. And in my head, I was like, I can't do that because that's my car, one. If only they gave me the car and told me I should go, I would drive and go and leave the driver there. Because anytime I try to talk to this guy, he doesn't listen. He's the kind of person that doesn't like listening to women giving him instructions. Because I can't tell him to shut up and keep quiet. He refused to listen to me. So... The man I said, okay, we should talk. I was not talking to the mama. I said, what's the story? I told him the story. The man was like, who is wrong? In my head, I'm like, I'm not here for all this BS. The driver is wrong. But nobody told me that I'm not allowed to park here and enter car or stop here and enter car. Nobody said anything like that. The guy was like, oh, they made an announcement. I was like, there's no such announcement. Because if there was an announcement, I would have heard it. I'm not deaf. They're like, no. That's possible for you not to have heard the announcement. Just talking so much BS. 
See me, I just got angry and I was just tired. I called my father. I was like, the situation. My father, my father was even making situations worse by shouting at me, telling me I don't tell you that that's the instruction. And in my head, I was like, if I had known that, do you think I'll be stupid enough to go and allow him to actually stop the car there for me to get him? Like all you people and this your accusations, are you even thinking about it? Do I look like someone that likes stress in this life? No, I don't like stress in my life. So when Nigerian people start making certain rules, I just answer them and do what I have to do so they don't even come and trap me and start collecting unnecessary money that I don't even have to give them. But I was just like, okay, my father finished shouting. He now gave, I gave the driver the phone. He finished shouting at the driver and he called the call. Then he took us to the office. Then the driver was trying to talk. I was just like, please, just leave this place. Go out. Let them talk to me because... If they keep talking to this guy, we'll get into more trouble than we already are. So they gave me a slip, telling me my fine was 15000 for all these things. You know, I was thinking they were going to ask me for like 500 I was thinking they were going to ask me for like 50 k or 100 k But in my head, I was like, if they're asking for that one, I'll just sleep on the floor there and not even say anything. So that was I was just like, okay, let me talk to them. I was talking, talking, talking. The funny thing is that I checked my account. I didn't even have up to that 15k they were asking me for. I didn't have money at all. So I was now begging the man because I was tired and frustrated. I was even crying. So the man was like, because the only cash I had on me was 5,000 naira. The man said he was not going to take it. I should do something. I should, like, I should pay more. The only thing he can do for me is for me to pay 10,000 naira and I can go scot free. And they don't accept transfers or anything. They only take cash. So I started searching my bag, searching everywhere to look for the extra little money. Because you know me, I said I don't keep cash on me. But luckily for me, they did Christmas for me. <laughs> Even though the Christmas money was not the kind of money I would appreciate. But any money is something in it. So I was lucky that I found like pieces of... Seventeen pieces. I just found like little notes around... I was able to gather everything to like 10k. I gave the man, he gave me my receipt. He told me I should not tell another person how much I paid my fine. And that if I don't pay my fine and all of that, they're going to leave my car in that place and I won't be able to get my car. And I did that. So I was just frustrated because at the moment, because I had plans, like I used use that 10k to go and buy a milkshake and just chill because this has been a stressful year for me. You guys don't even understand. I was like, yeah, this is the last money I have to end this year. Let me just spoil myself or treat myself to something nice. And we know that we're going to enter 2021 like clean and maybe more better things will happen to me or stuff like that. So I was just really pained and angry that I had to spend that money that I didn't have to think about it because that was like my last couple. Because the only money I have now with me, cash, is 500 naira. And with 300 naira that's in my account, that literally I can't even use for anything. But yes, so that was my um, struggle. And I was just like, God. Because when I was narrating this story to my brother, but I was like, oh, you should have recorded what was happening. I was like, at that moment, I couldn't think because I thought I was going to die. You guys need to see how the car was moving mad. And the way they were fighting for something stupid. So I was just like, okay. That's literally fine. That one has happened. It has passed. It has passed. There's nothing I can really do about it. So, I am not an alcoholic. And I just happen to have alcohol because I want to do a video that has to do with alcohol. But one other thing is that I am trying to see if I can start getting used to drinking wine. But drinking wine is an expensive lifestyle that I cannot afford at the moment. All these drinks you see here, I got them for free. <laughs> this is the drink I was initially going to use for my truth or drink video. But I was like, nope. This is the drink I'm going to use. This is red wine. This is champagne. This is another bottle of champagne. And this is another red wine. So yes, good night guys. I'm here trying to unpack but i feel like you guys have seen enough of my packing and unpacking videos so let me not bore you guys with another b-roll of me unpacking why is he focusing on my face there hello excuse me my face is here thank you
by the time you guys are watching this will be the new year so happy new year guys i hope this year brings you joy happiness laughter so many good experiences even if it's going to be bad it turn out to be good for your own good you get what i'm saying what i'm trying to say i can't really talk much because i'm just tired and sleepy you guys can see my eyes and i'm stressed but yes see you guys please subscribe i'm hungry